the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes just shared his thoughts on the fight between the Elite and CM Punk that took place after All Out 2022. Before I get into exactly what Cody said, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, so Cody Rhodes, of course, who left WWE or AEW last year for WWE, in an interview this past week, talked about his perspective of Brawl Out and kind of what he knows, what he's heard, and, and his feelings about it. And many people are kind of perceiving this as Cody shooting a little bit on CM Punk, which I think can be taken both ways. Anyway, let's just get right to the quote. And he says, and I quote, and I'm not blaming anybody. Sorry, I'm super Switzerland at this point. I'm not putting any blame on anybody, but I hated seeing that because as the company grows, I hope it continues to grow. I hope people remember the mission in the first place, why we were there. And if you bring in people who don't know the mission, things like that can happen. He went on to say, and I'm not saying he, CM Punk, didn't know the mission or anything of that nature, but I'm just bummed out. That's how I felt. I was bummed out. He later went on to say in this same interview, he says, quote, no heat on Punk, no heat on Matt, Nick, Kenny, or Tony. I was just so bummed out when I saw it. That's not how I envisioned it. If you were at All In, the spirit of All In, if you ever lose that spirit, you lo you're lost. And I think that spirit was gone in that moment. Doesn't mean you can't get it back, but it was just a bummer. So Cody Rhodes kind of in a very, very uh, insightful way, I think, revealed his thoughts. And, and I think he was being very honest in that because I think a lot of people would agree that the original spirit of when AEW started is way different than what it is now, or especially what it was in August, September 2022. Because it just felt like there was something in the air whenever All Out happened. And even beforehand, it just felt like there was something in the air. The company just wasn't, it, it, it just, the, it, what, the vibe was off. The vibe was completely off. There's no better way for me to put it. And it just really felt like, and I was there at All Out. It was a great pay-per-view. It was one of the best pay-per-views I've been to live ever. But at the same time, I just felt like just something was off. Like, and we had heard all the stuff that's going on in the locker room, the Eddie Kingston stuff. There were rumblings that people were upset, blah, blah, blah. And then it all kind of played out in front of us on camera when CM Punk cut his his wine bomb wine bomb the the wine bomb at uh at all at, at the press conference but i want to also give cody one piece of credit here because it would have been easy for him to just avoid this question entirely it would have been easy for him to just say ah, i don't work there anymore none of my business but as cody said in this interview earlier on he has people that he trains at his gym, that he, that he trains to pro, for, for pro wrestling at the Nightmare Collective that broke up the brawl between CM Punk and the Elite. So he's tied to this, whether he likes it or not, and he still is friends with Matt, Nick, and Kenny. He still talks to them, uh, according to his words. And he even like touched on the friction that they had, that that was more of they see wrestling in different ways, but that's also a good thing because you can't just have one way of doing things, right? So I want to give him credit where credit's due. As far as whether or not he took a shot at CM Punk here, when he said specifically, um, when he mentioned the spirit of All In was lost, and mo more notably, I think, that he mentioned that when that's what happens when you bring in people who don't know the mission of the company, meaning you can have fights like that, you can have a, a locker room culture that maybe g takes a hit. I and, and, and I know he clarified and said he wasn't talking about CM Punk, but my question is, why would you even bring it up if you weren't, if that wasn't about Punk? It, 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 and and that, that might be true. It very well might be true that Cody, that, that CM Punk, didn't really know or care about the mission of AEW. And that's fine and good because he still drew, he still made money, and, and he made the company bigger. But at a certain point, I think that type of stuff can definitely cause a rift between 
people who were part of that mission at the starting point of the company who understand it and who wanted to help it grow and CM Punk who wants to help it grow, but maybe in a different way. And I think getting those two to mesh was always the big issue. And that's why we saw what we saw and why what happened happened after All Out. So did he take a bit of a shot at Punk? Probably, but at the same time, was he wrong? I don't think so. Was was it out of line? Was he doing this big? Uh, yeah, was he burying CM Punk? No, he wasn't burying CM Punk. Maybe he was shooting a little bit, but wasn't burying CM Punk. He, he was giving his perspective of what happened, and his perspective might be correct. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this whole situation, and let me know if you think CM Punk will come back. There have been rumors about that. Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.